Welcome everybody to another session in our Women Lead webinar series brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Patty Vargas, I'm your host today, and we are delighted to bring yet another informative webinar to our Association of Professional Women. Our Women Lead webinars are designed for you, the professional leader in business, whether you're an aspiring woman leader or a woman leading people, projects, a division, or a business. We select topics and themes that support your goal to lead, achieve, and succeed more effectively in business. Our webinar is just shy of an hour and we welcome your questions. Just submit them via the chat window and we'll answer them throughout the program. Now, the focus of our webinar today is how to get in your best shape and lead as a sexy, confident, and powerful woman. And I'm excited to introduce our thought leader today. Ana Nieto is a trained nurse, personal trainer, nutrition specialist, and mindful guiding coach, and the creator of the Mindful Online Workouts. She has worked in the health and wellness field for 18 years. She started in New York where she co-founded a personal training studio in Manhattan called Transform Fitness. She has also managed and started farmers markets both in New York and San Diego as part of her mission to create sustainable communities. Anna's new business model incorporates more than personal training and it's geared toward helping you transform not only how you look and feel, but also to transform how you relate to life itself. She strongly believes that balanced energy is the key to physical and spiritual success. So without any further ado, join me in welcoming Anna to share with us this program and this presentation that she's put together just for us. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much, Patty, and thank you everyone for being here today and everyone listening. I want to tell you and just take a minute to explain what we will be doing today. Number one, I want to tell you a little bit about who I am, how I got where I am today and the work that I do with people for the ones that don't know me. Then I'm going to just give you a few tips and tools on how you can get in your best shape without leaving your home so you can lead as a confident, mindful and sexy wonder woman who's always my inspiration. And then the last thing, I'm going to uh, give you an opportunity and tell you a little bit about how I work with people, if that's something that you would like to do. Great. So the first thing I'd like to do is just for everyone to just take a deep breath and just really focus on the exhale. Uh, if you're driving, if you're uh, maybe working and listening to this recording on your background, um, I will invite you to just leave everything aside and just make sure that you have some time for yourself if you can dedicate right now. I think you will um, enjoy some of these practices and, and perhaps learn something that you can take into, into your life in the next few weeks or months. And for me, it always also allow me to take a deep breath to be able to focus more on all of you. So I just want to first thing I want to share with you is how um, my clients have been benefiting from uh, online training, from the mindful online workouts that I facilitate weekly before even it was trendy. Uh, we are now at the end of May 2020 and we are living in the Corona times. And uh, fortunately, a lot of people have had to leave their exercise programs and uh, start working online. And this is something that I've been doing for the past seven years successfully. So I was able to um, help people during this time even more. And on this picture, you can see a little bit how it works. Um, this is a, a Pilates classes. I'm taking a picture there and you can see everybody is on a square. The uh, trainer is able to see if the person needs any adjustments or any corrections and do it during the workout. So it's, um, it works a little bit different than when you're watching a video and you don't have anybody spotting you and, and giving you feedback. In this case, we are there always with our clients and we're able to support them during the workout. It's, a, it's a slightly different than a video that you don't have that support. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you uh, in the time that we have together how you can achieve three things. The first one is how you can get in your best shape without leaving your home. The second one is how you can save time, increase your energy and your productivity. 
And the third one is how you can improve your posture, relieve pain in your body if you have, and improve some from some medical diagnosis such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes type 2, which are very common, but some other ones as well. And as a bonus, you're going to decrease your stress and improve your mindfulness and sleep with everything we'll be learning today. And I want to tell you a little bit about how I got to do what I do now and, um, and what prompted me to become a, a trainer and, and a health coach. And you can see a little bit my credentials here and all the studies that I've had throughout this uh, almost 20 years now. But I want to tell you a little bit of um, my, my actual personal story. I am originally from Spain, if you don't already notice, I have an accent. And uh, I moved to New York in my early 20s. And after being there for a couple of years, um, you know, I was starting to do some aerobics and step exercise just to keep me in shape. I've always been um, a mover and, and a dancer and I enjoy that kind of work. But I, I decided to start working with a personal trainer. Um, and I discovered this very interesting technique that you only needed to exercise 30 minutes a week. And after three months of training with this trainer, I went to buy clothes and I realized that I was a size less than I was before I started training with him. Wait a minute. You said 30 minutes a week? Yeah, that's right. Only 30 minutes a week. I know it sounds like impossible, but wow. um, that was my experience. And that is actually the experience with a lot of people that you can actually drop one size in that period of time with that much time invested. Hmm. So I was very curious. I was not making any changes in uh, my nutritional habits. It was just all this exercise that was making my body tone and shape in a way that I've never done before, uh, given that I was doing all kinds of exercises before I got there. So uh, the second thing that happened that year that was very interesting is that my parents came to visit and my mother was wondering, what have I done that my posture have improved so dramatically? I used to slouch forward as one of the tallest girls uh, in Spain. And just to feel just like the same among my peers, I would always slouch forward and walk in that way. So I had developed this, um, you know, kind of bad posture in the years that, that I, I was never able to improve. But now she um, noticed that it has changed and, and my posture was much better. And the best part was that I, uh, I used to play tennis with my dad since I was seven years old. And that year, for the first time, I beat him. So <laughs> he didn't really like that, but I really, really like it. And, uh, and this, just to say that in only three months of 30 minutes workouts a week, I was able to um, lose fat, improve my athletic performance, and improve my posture. And the other thing that I have noticed, um, I have scoliosis and I had suffered from low back pain uh, throughout my teenage and young adult years and it completely disappeared. It just went away. So I was sold. You know, I had a, a nursing background from uh, studying in Spain uh, and they were really practiced in the States and I was looking a little bit what I wanted to do with my skills that I could help people. And that was always my goal. And I discovered this technique and I was sold. All I wanted to do was become a, a certified trainer and starting helping people achieve the same results that I learned and that I've had. So that's a little bit my story just to tell you where, where I am and what I got um, what, with what I do right now. I have been practicing this method now for almost 20 years and uh, I added as well health coaching, which I think it really helps my clients in a, in a more deep and, and important way. Mm -hmm. So right now, we are going to start with the part of the talk where I like to make it a little bit more interactive because I think that if you actually experience the movement yourself, you will understand why I got those changes that I got a little better. So I'd like to, if you can, uh, stand up, not if you're driving, and um, we're going to practice a few um, movements just so you can feel what this type of exercise is all about. So the first thing I want to do is just set you up on a neutral spine position because to me form and safety are key in order to get the results that you want instead of injuring which unfortunately sometimes happens right in some exercise programs. So 
what I'm going to ask you is to close your hand, make a fist, and put that fist right under the, your chin and bring your neck down into it a little bit. So that's going to tilt your head forward slightly. And what we're accomplishing with that is that you're relaxing the muscles of the front of the neck and the rear. And try to keep the neck there on the exercise that we will be practicing. Number two, we are going to feel and connect with our abdominal muscles. And you're going to be doing that by tucking your tailbone and extending your spine. So just do that a few times. Moving it slowly with your feet about shoulders width apart, standing up. You can do it also sitting down if you like. Actually, you can just raise your feet on the ground and just tilt your pelvis forward and then tilt it back and extend your spine. And just do it on a very slow motion and once you've done it two or three times, feel what is the center of those two places from the most contracted to the most extended position. Mm -hmm. And it's stay there. That is going to be the place where you will be connecting with your abdominal muscles and also protecting your low back from any stress when you are exercising. So we have this neutral spine position right now by keeping your neck on that relaxed place and keeping your tailbone tuck slightly, your abdominals engaged and your low back also protected. And then the last thing that you want to do is to keep your mouth just slightly open so you can allow the flow of air in and out constantly and you're never holding your breath, which happens naturally when we are exercising. So now that you're set, we're going to try a couple of exercises here. First one is going to be a squat. Actually, it's the same exercise, but performed in two different ways. So you're going to do five squats at the speed that you would normally do it. Okay? So just make sure that on your setup, your feet are shoulders width apart, same distance between your toes and your heels. You are breathing. You're sitting back on your heels. You want to make sure that your weight is on the heels and that the strength is coming from your muscles. And you don't want to feel the knees getting the pressure, right? We're going to focus on muscle strength here as much as possible. And you're probably going one more time. You can relax after you're done, shake your legs a little bit. And now I want you to try the same exercise, but this time you're going to take 10 seconds lowering yourself down and another 10 seconds coming up. So check on your neck. Check on your tailbone, make sure your mouth is slightly open, that you're breathing. And now take 10 seconds going down, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Make sure that you continue pressing your heels on the ground, two, one. And without relaxing, start coming up again in nine, eight, seven, good. Six, keep breathing as you're coming up. And let's do one more time. So you're gonna go down again without resting completely. So you're not allowing the muscles to relax. We wanna keep them completely contracted throughout the movement. You should be down. And last time coming up, heels going up. And five, four, three, two. And then you can relax, shake again your legs a little bit, shake your upper body. Very good. Excellent. I only did two of this one because I want you guys to share if anybody wants to share how was the difference between the little faster squats and the slower squats. Wow, that, that was a huge change. That's a huge change. I, I personally love squats. I, you know, I think they're one of the best moves you can do, but man, what a difference that made. Yeah, so how would you describe it, Patty, in one word if you had to? Uh, intense. And then, yes, that's one of the best ways to describe it. Yeah. The exercise gets more intense. And you know why? That is because we are reaching deeper into the muscle fibers and we are connecting with uh, parts of our body that we don't connect when we go slowly. Mm -hmm. So it's making you work more intensely, but it's also more, um, it's safer because what is happening for most people when they get injured is that they use momentum, they use acceleration when they exercise and you're not really feeling what you're doing as much. When you go at this speed, you can catch anything that is happening in your body that doesn't feel right. And the last aspect that I really like um, is the safety, the efficiency, and the effectiveness as well. As I was saying before, you're actually getting results faster with this technique uh, in a way that is very, very um, 
again, safe and also very mindful because you're able to connect a little bit deeper with the muscles that you're working on each of the exercise. So thank you everybody for playing. If you tried it, I hope that you get some of those feel good hormones uh, going <laughs> right <laughs> now. Very nice. Yeah. So the second um, tool or, or, or um, gift that I have for you today is a nutritional quiz. And the title is The Truth About Your Metabolism. So five myth busters on how to really burn calories and lose fat. And I also like to make this one a little bit interactive. So I'd like to ask you a question and, um, and say true or false. And you can tell me yes or not. And you can tell me also why you think that is true or false. All right, ready to play? Ready to play? Yeah. So the I'll, first be, I'll be watching the chat for you. We'll see what other folks say. <laughs> okay, perfect. So um, the first myth is I can lose as much weight as I want and keep it off for as long as I want if I am eating the right foods. Is that true or false? What do you think? Um, maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. That was uh, a good question. <laughs> Are you sure you think it's true? <laughs> so I'm going to think it's false now. <laughs> <laughs> After you read it, yes. So one important distinction that I think we all uh, made the mistake, right, is that you don't want to lose weight. You want to lose fat because that means that your body's turning up, right? And then there is a belief that your body has a set point um, where it tends to go and always come back. So it doesn't matter how heavy or lean you are, your body will always come back to the set point, no matter how many times you trick uh, with diets, right? Because um, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but I do believe that diets are a trick to the system, but they are never a way to sustainably, sustainably create healthy eating habits. So even though there's not really a scientific proof for this yet, studies show that it is true. And unfortunately, this is something that we cannot fight or go against, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but if nature created the same point for you, it's probably the right one, and you don't want to go any lower. That's the that's the idea. Mm -hmm. So, number two, if I do a hundred abdominal crunches each day, I will lose the fat around my belly. Is that true or false? That is false. That is false. Yes, and the reason is why. Um, there's a concept that is called a squat reduction or that people feel that it's true that if you um, do a thousand crunches, right, we're going to be able to use the fat around the body, uh, the, the abdominal area. And that's not how the body works. The way the body works is by losing fat because we have a higher metabolism. And it usually loses it first from the areas that we don't need it as much. And then it goes to the ones that has been there the longest. And the best way to increase your metabolism is by doing a strength training. We'll talk about that a little bit later, actually. I think I just gave you the answer to one of my questions. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the next. Myth number three, that is, if I want to be healthy and lean, I need to be hungry all the time and deprive myself from all the foods I really enjoy. Is that true or false? I really hope that's false. <laughs> But it's a common belief, isn't it? A lot of people don't want to um, perhaps think about different nutritional habits because they think it's going to be uh, quite tedious and, 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 uh, and, and sad, you know, for their lifestyle. So I'm a firm believer that you can always apply the rule of 80-20. If you're eating healthy 80% of the time, you know, meaning whole unprocessed foods, low sugar, salt, and alcohol, things that we know that have proved that are huge uh, inflammatory um, ingredients in our in our food um, and you are getting a variety of healthy proteins carbs fats you can do a little bit of what is not so healthy 20% of the time and when I start working with somebody and their goals are pretty intense in regards to what they want to achieve I always recommend 90 10 so 90% of the time eating healthy 10% of something that perhaps you won't consider it um, I think eliminating also dairy, um, gluten, apart from sugar and alcohol, are very important to um, eliminate also those ingredients that create inflammation in our body. 
Hmm. And when I facilitate cleanses three times a year, that's what I do. Uh, we go through that process. Next one, myth number four, doing cardio for at least one hour a day is the best way to burn calories and keep my weight in check. What do you think? I'm going to say that's false because of what you did at the very beginning of this webinar. <laughs> because I already told you the answer. Right. <laughs> no, no, this is a misconception. Most people think that you lose weight or you lose fat, right? As you say, we, we, we just learned. When you actually um, exercise, and it happens after because of the amount of muscle that you have and because your metabolism is higher. So I always give this example here. We, we like as entrepreneurs to make money while we sleep, right? Like we are trying to create those, that passive income. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the same thing. We can have our muscles working a lot harder even when we are sleeping and we can be um, uh, spending a lot more calories and um, losing weight, losing fat, even when we are sleeping. That is the key. Or resting. Number five, I will bulk up if I do a strength training, no matter my gender. Is this false of true, of true, especially for women that are concerned about doing some strength training? Okay, we all say it's false. It's false, yes, because they are all false now at this point. Yes, a woman's body does not usually bulk up like a man's does. And this is because men have a higher amount of testosterone. And this is the... Um, the hormone that is creating them, those bigger muscles. Women that have a higher amount of testosterone are going to develop bigger muscles. For most of us, that is not going to happen. And no matter how much we exercise, unless we take some, you know, substances, we are not going to get very, very big. And that's um, something that we actually need because when you do a strength training, you are increasing your muscle mass. By definition, you are improving all the structures around it your joints, but also your bone mass increases. So mm -hmm. that's a, a good extra point for women because we tend to develop osteoporosis as we age, right? So Anna, let me ask you, if, if during this time that you are doing strength training and you are building more muscle um, and decreasing your fat, is your weight likely to go up even while your, maybe your dress size is going down? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And in some cases it happens because muscle weight a lot more than fat. Mm. So what is going to be happening is that, yeah, you might not see a huge change on the scale, um, but you will see it in your clothes. So um, when I ask uh, clients to look at their body and, the, and how they are changing, I usually ask them to stay away from the scale for at least a month mm. and just um, take out a dress or a pair of jeans that you haven't worn in a while because you're not comfortable, okay? And you want to try it on every week and see how it feels and how it fits. And if you start feeling more comfortable on it, you know that you're losing inches and that's really what you want, right? So yeah, that was a great question. The scale might not change at all in most cases. In some cases, it might start going down, but not enough. Uh, to be satisfying if, if, if most people are focusing on that number, right? That's, that's a great question. Good. So the next thing we're going to do is something a little bit more relaxing or um, more uh, just for you to enjoy it. And you can do any, any time this practice that you're not feeling good, that you're not feeling at your best, or that you're preparing for something that you want to feel happy and you want to feel energized. So if you can, <clears throat> just uh, close your eyes. Again, don't do that if you're driving, but close your eyes if you can right now and just take a couple of deep breaths again. And if you didn't do it before, lift everything to the side just for a few minutes. Just give this, this gift to yourself. And I want you to start thinking about a time in your life when you were really, really happy, more than happy. You were joyful. You were um, just connecting with yourself, with nature, with your family, your community. You could be, you know, it could be your wedding day. It could be the day that your first child was born. I always think about performing because when I've performed this, this really big connection with the audience and everything that is happening around me, uh, even if it was just a wonderful day by the beach, 
anything, just bring it to mind. Something that really makes you feel good. And I want you to feel those same feelings. Just bring them back that you had at that time. See if you can smell the smells if they were around. See if you can hear whatever you were hearing at that point, seeing what you were seeing at that time, the, the colors, and just really embrace everything in your system. And then you're gonna bring your arms in front of you, still keeping your eyes closed. You're gonna paint that picture in front of you on a frame. You're gonna put it inside a frame. And you're just gonna be looking at it with your eyes closed, just with your mind's eyes. And then just for a second, make it larger. So separate your arms and make it a little bit bigger and larger. And see how that feels. See if the, if the feeling of joy and peace and happiness increases. And then bring your arms together, hands together in front of you and make it smaller. And see if that changes as well. And then one more time, you're going to make that picture bigger and larger. And see if those feelings again of joy and peace and happiness are back to you. And now grab that picture, imagine that it's flexible as if it was a sweater or a jacket and you're just gonna, or a big robe, and you're just gonna wrap your body around it. You're just gonna wrap your body all around this picture of happiness and joy and peace and harmony and continue feeling those wonderful, amazing, different emotions that you were experiencing at that time. And just take another few seconds if you need to, and when you're ready, you can just open your eyes, see if you're feeling a little bit better even now. And just remember, you can do this anytime. Your body doesn't really know the difference between it actually happening or your mind making it happening. So you can come back to those feelings and, 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 and bring them to you at any point when you need to. Wow. And these are some of the different experiences that, um, not in this way, but I help client, clients uh, stay in that state of joy and, and positive um, thinking more than negative because it's easy to let off our goals go, right? When we set up goals to ourselves and it just doesn't have to do only with health and wellness, but business or any other goal, uh, staying in the commitment to it can be a little hard sometimes. So being present and being mindful and feeling good is always very important. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you want to share how you're feeling, I'll be more than happy to hear any feedback that you have right now. I just think it's a, um, it's like giving yourself permission to, to stop all the craziness for just a minute. And, and I liked how you had us uh, focus on, on a happy time, you know, take yourself back to that and use that as sort of your anchor. Yeah, yeah, because you've had it, right? Something that is real. It's like sometimes we we focus too much on how the future is going to look, right? In a, in a good way or in a bad way. But I think sometimes bringing things from the past and making them present, it actually has a different energy to it. So thank you for sharing. Thank you, everybody, for um, participating. This is always fun to facilitate, and I always get to do it with you as well. I close my eyes, and I feel much better as well. So I kind of asked you already, but how uh, is your body feeling now? We've done exercise, we've learned a little bit about nutrition, we've done some mindfulness practice, and what do you think if you're feeling like Patty Express, you know, more present, what would change in the next few weeks, next few months, next year even, if you master all this? If you have a uh, regular exercise schedule that is helping you to get in the best shape of your life and that is safe, effective and efficient as we just practice. If you have a nutritional program that works for you and only you, I'm a firm believer that we all need to create that for ourselves and what works for you might not necessarily be what works for me. And also the mindfulness practices that will help you stay committed to your goals and come back to them in times of need. So I just want to tell you a little bit that 
my business, as Patty was saying at the beginning, is, is more than personal training. As I started when I first became a trainer and wanted to help people, I realized that if I was not touching the nutritional aspect and I was not touching the mindset aspect, I had clients that were not getting the results that they were expecting. So I got excited to work um, on something a little bit deeper. And uh, the name of my company is Volar now, which means to fly in Spanish. And flying to me is that feeling of freedom, excitement, and living life to the fullest. And that's what I want my clients to experience. It's just about all the different aspects of health. And the main focus in our work is usually movement, eating habits and uh, mindset, because I think those three are usually the most powerful ones. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they accomplish a lot of good results if you can get into the right road or the right habits, you know, that you want to, that you want to achieve. And then I'd like to um, just tell you a little bit of the results that uh, clients experience and uh, get in your best shape. I have women in their 50s and sometimes it's just hard to really believe it when they tell me, you know, it's the best shape I've been in my whole entire life, but it really happens. It can happen any age if you want it to. Increase your muscle and bone strength and improve posture. Um, I cannot talk enough about the importance of bone strength as we age, especially women, uh, osteoporosis, which is the, the loss of bone uh, mass is very common. And then when we fall, Unfortunately, the risk of fracture is a lot higher and uh, the recovery from that is, um, is not uh, very good. So the tendency for mortality in those cases is a lot higher as we keep aging. Just keep that in mind. It can be solved by just exercise. Mm -hmm. Now for us women entrepreneurs, it will increase your energy and your productivity. Who doesn't want more energy and <laughs> better productivity in our work? It will decrease pain and improve medical conditions, as I said before. Um, pain is a silent killer. If you're living with pain, um, it actually doesn't allow you to be effective and focus on your work um, and with your family. It doesn't allow you to be really present because the pain is talking over your life. So sometimes exercise, good nutrition, and mindfulness, and being present, can make a huge difference for that, unless it's a condition that obviously need uh, surgery or anything else, obviously that's something that uh, medical condition. But in a lot of cases, it's just the lack of exercise and movement and bad nutrition. And the last thing is decrease in stress and improve sleep. So stress and sleep are super high. They've been actually a little bit higher in the past few months uh, because of the situation that we're living in, but it's a constant for us humans that we struggle day in and day out. So just finding the techniques, finding the ways to improve um, those two aspects of life may, may cha, make a, a huge different, difference in how you feel about yourself. So I just wanna share with you, this is a, a video that one of my clients did as a, testimo at a testimonial. And I just wanna share with you because she's gonna tell you much better than me what her results were and who she is. So here it goes. Hi, I'm not someone who usually does videos. This is actually, I think, my first video I've ever made. Um, but I felt like it was timely because uh, I have said I would do this video and I haven't. I've procrastinated, but I'm now going to do it and I'm going to give you some visuals. So this is for anybody who can't go to the gym right now because you're either quarantined or um, you're just afraid to go to the gym or for anybody who just hates going to the gym and is looking for a better way to get a little exercise or get in shape, whatever your objective is. Because I want to tell you about Ana Nieto. She's my personal trainer and she works online. And it's been awesome because she comes with me as I travel. I just throw a band in my bag that we work with when I'm home. She works with whatever I have or whatever my physical needs are. But I started working with her about nine months ago and so for that time, and I was, I had put on some weight and I wasn't feeling good. Like, you know, so getting, my clothes were getting tighter and I was just thinking this was just kind of what happens when you get older. And then I started working on results pretty quickly. Um, I started working with her once or twice a week. And I to so these are the pants that I was, that was getting tight on me when I was dancing. So I just dragged them out of the closet so that you could have a visual of, um, 
of the progress that we've made in less than a year. And so then when those pants were too big, I pulled these out and I got these in uh, 2009 in Europe and they were the skinniest jeans I had ever had. And now they are also a little big. So I've since had to uh, buy different clothes because I lost a few sizes. And, um, and it's been a great experience. She's a lot of fun and we've had a good time. But in addition to just feeling better about my size and, and the clothes I was fitting in, I have also gotten much stronger. And this is the last layer, I promise. Um, a couple months ago, I went white water rafting with my niece and it was hard and it was fun. And it was fun because I had the strength to do it. My arms are much stronger, my legs are stronger, my core is much stronger. So I feel better in my body and I can do things that I probably wouldn't have done before because I didn't feel strong enough. I didn't feel like my body could could really handle it. And now um, I do squats and they used to be really hard and now they're not as hard. And she pushes you a little bit, but she doesn't push you to the point of tears or anything like that. And she encourages you in a nice way. So if you're afraid to go to the gym or you can't go to the gym right now, or you just never want to go to the gym, which was my case, um, I have tried the gym, I've tried personal trainers, I've tried everything else. This is the first thing that I've ever gotten really amazing results. And so I highly recommend Anna. She's amazing, she's fun. And so check her out. Um, I will tag her on my post. And um, I hope everybody is out there, they're staying safe and healthy. And, um, and that's it, so thanks. Wow. That that was something. <laughs> yeah, that is something. That's great. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, an awesome testimonial, and I think she was so cute, just showing the results, you know, in a graphic way. I think a, a visual uh, is always better than, than a thousand words, and she did it so beautifully. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, as she was saying, Sarah is in her fifties, and you know, she reported that she's never been in that shape, and is what I was telling you guys before that I I always surprise myself hearing those things but they happen and it's pretty amazing so how is uh, my program a little bit different and uh, I'm aware of how many coaches are there um, whoops I went a little fast and uh, programs and diets and this is not it um, what I like to do is help people create a health plan that is based on movement, eating, and mindset, but that will help them transform from unhealthy habits and create new and sustainable healthy lifestyles. So the key is to create habits that support your goals. And those are very customized for most people. And again, what works for you might not work for me. So we work on a way um, that you are the driver and I'm just kind of helping you get where you wanna go with all those tools. And now what is in it is um, mindful movement, uh, as we practiced before, healthy eating. So this can be customized and um, I can do private coaching, but I also facilitate three cleanses during the year, as I was saying before, and those are in a group setting. I have a program now that is a 21 day program where you um, exercise five days a week and then you actually um, go through a 21 day cleanse together as a group. Uh, it can also do that work privately. And then management of unhealthy habits and addictions. That's the key that I was talking about before for people to, even when they stop working with me, that they have a set of tools and they have a set of ways that they can come back to in terms of need when they let go a little bit of, of, um, of a more structure, right? Um, that they create for themselves. And that's my goal, that people can keep that for the rest of their lives. Mm. And, you know, the other question that I always like to ask at this point is, you know, how much is costing us to, or costing you not to be in, in, the, in the shape that you really want to be and, and, and decreasing your energy and your productivity at work? And how much more effective could you be? How much more money could you make? How much more present you could be with your family and your friends and your coworkers when that is the other way around and you are healthy and focused and sharp. So I'm now 
uh, currently offering free online workouts because I want everybody to try it for themselves. And you will have a full workout of what you just practiced today by yourself if you did it. Um, you will have me directly. You can go to my website at um, mindfulonlineworkouts.com and you will see a link there where you can sign up for our next free workout and, um, and just schedule it. And right now we are offering mindful online workouts. We also have Pilates and yoga as uh, something additional, which I'm very excited to bring. And uh, we'd love to have you there. Wow. And as a bonus, when you sign up for the workout class, you will also receive a complimentary strategy session. What I usually do on these sessions is uh, we get to talk about what is the main struggle that you are having. And I give you a tip, or at least we come up with a tip or a tool that you can take home right after our call. And then you'll have the option to work together and we can decide if that's a good option for you or not. Uh, but you at least will get something that you can start working on if that's to your desire. And you will also receive a copy of the five myth busters on how to really burn calories and lose fat, which we just learned today. But so you can share with others and read it um, if you need to again. So Anna, let me ask you, was that previous slide, is that a picture of your studio? That, is that where you lead your workouts? Actually, that's not my studio as a, a professional photographer's place, but that's mm -hmm. kind of how I work. Yeah. I mean, I have a place where I set up my computer that I can see people and they can see me. Um, and I demonstrate just like I'm doing now. Uh -huh. And then they actually do it at the same time. And, um, and what I have them um, follow uh, while, I, while they do that, while they follow the exercise and correcting their form one-on-one -on -one personally when needed. Right. So, right. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. I'm, I'm paying attention to them while I'm demonstrating and then they can follow the exercise. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's a very good visual for that. Thank you for asking. This definitely works. So what I was saying, yeah, this is for you. This is actually important because I think we need to also be honest. Um, and I always, when I start working with clients, I say, I want this to be a win-win situation. So you also need to know that this is for you and that you are ready for it, right? Um, so it is for you if you are a woman over 40 and I work with younger women, but the best results is after 40 when our body doesn't really like to work as it used to in previous years. Um, that you have no time to exercise, you have children perhaps, your work is very stressful and doesn't allow you for time to take care of yourself. If you're feeling that your body is changing and the exercise programs and diets you used to follow in the past are no longer helping you. If your body is changing and cannot withstand a strenuous activity as before, aerobic exercise perhaps. If you have injuries that prevent you from exercising as you'd like to. I see a lot of knee shoulder, low back, neck and shoulders issues. If you have trouble losing weight with methods that used to work in the past. If you find it hard to keep it healthy, to keep yourself healthy habits or stop addictions on your own. So that's, this would be very good for you in that case. And um, it is not really for you if you are not willing to change your exercise, eating or mindset habits. Uh, if you cannot stay committed to a plan, if you, can, um, if you want change, but you're not willing to make some of the sacrifices that are needed. And I know that sacrifice is a very big, strong word, but I really feel like there are some things that we have to leave in order to make changes in our life. And it might take a little bit of sacrifice at the beginning um, for a good outcome and a good goal, but it will take them. And the last thing is people that are looking for a diet or magic pill. Um, this is really not for you. It takes effort. And if you find a magic pill, please tell me because I want to stay in business and I want to be <laughs> one of the first people offering it to my tribe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like you see those ads, you know, on TV that, you know, with, with absolutely no diet or exercise, you just take this pill and you begin to lose weight. And you're like, Really, you know, I've been around a while and I, I haven't ever seen that work. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, marketing schemes out there. No doubt about it. And I always say, is this coming back to the basics? You know, is this really exercise, nutrition? Uh, what do you do with your mind? Because those negative thoughts can be very influential. And the stress and the sleep. 
you know it's just yeah. really really basic but it is so hard as human beings you know to to fulfill those all those little things especially in the society you know we live right now that is the fast and furious is what is what counts mm -hmm. so yeah. that's everything that i have to share with you guys today and now i'm open to any questions um ask me anything well, you've been really great about taking questions all through this, you know, so that's, that's been super helpful. Um, maybe you could say a little bit about when someone is working with you, how many times a week do they work with you? How long is a session? Uh, something about that? Yes, perfect. That's a great question, actually. Ed. And uh, I appreciate that part because I should have said it before. So because it's online, I said before in my experience, I was only working 30 minutes a week. Um, I do my workouts 45 minutes, mm -hmm. just in case there's any issues with connection and, and just because they take a little bit longer. 45 minutes a week, that's what most of my clients invest on their exercise routine, working directly with me, either on a group class or on a private setting. Mm -hmm. I have about 20% of my clients perhaps that do twice a week, and then a very small percentage that do three times a week. And in periods when I have this 21 day program is five days a week, right? So we do three workouts, we do one yoga and we do one Pilates. So I have a little variety for people that like to exercise more and less. But if you're one of those that is like, I don't like exercise, I don't wanna do it, 45 minutes a week is all you need to really get results. And then we've talked about other things that you can do outside of the workouts, such as walking, um, you know, bicycling, dancing, whatever it is that you like as a, as a recreational activity. But in regards to exercise, that's all you need. Wow. That, yeah. That's pretty amazing and probably comes as close to a, uh, a magic bullet, you know, as, as I can think of. <laughs> that's, I, I'm, I agree with you. I think it's the best kept secret in the fitness industry. And then I've felt that way since I discovered it years ago and I've been, you know, doing it myself and facilitating it. Yeah, yeah. Well, Anna, I just want to thank you so much for taking so much of your valuable time with us and sharing this um, really intriguing way of looking at a, a holistic approach to wellness. You know, that it's not just exercise and it's not just a diet, uh, but it's, it's being mindful about about everything you know and, and really like i said taking a holistic approach to it so i appreciate that so much how can we get in touch with you yes so here is my uh, contact information uh you can contact me via phone you can uh, text or call you can email me at anna at mindfulonlineworkout.com or you can just go to my website uh mindfulonlineworkouts.com and a schedule and a strategy session, or you can go to one of my free classes and I'll be more than happy to see you there. We meet via Zoom these days and uh, I, I would love to learn what your struggle is and how can I support you with it. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much again, like I said, and thank you to those of you who have joined us live and those that will listen to the replay of this webinar, which will be out on our website um, within the next week or so. And please stay in touch with us at Connected Women of Influence. We love to hear from you. We love to have you join us with all of our professional development um, sessions that we have for you. So watch our Facebook page, watch our website, connectedwomen.com, uh, connectedwomenofinfluence.com, and look for the next time that we can all be together. Thank you again, Anna. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Patty, and everybody. Have a great rest of your day.